What's going on, everybody? You are now tuned in to the <laughs> Triple M Boxing Channel, your source for all your boxing needs. Ooh. And man, boxing, like I keep saying this, man, but boxing has been good to us. It's been very good to us. It's very fan friendly right now, in my opinion. Yeah, we can argue that 2024 is probably one of the best boxing, one of the best years for boxing by yeah, far. And we... we're not done yet, bro. We're just, what, yeah. August, September? We got the, the last quarter of the year. Yeah, no, you 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 got damn right, man. You got damn right. And with this last quarter, so more crazy stuff gonna happen. Yep. You're gonna see people fight each other that we never thought would fight each other. Yep. But besides the point, man. A few fights have been announced here. And I'm quite shocked. One dude got signed with with our boy Eddie Hearn. I'm quite shocked too. Let's start off with the first one, man. Shakur Cordina. Wow. Fight announced. It is crazy. We were just talking about this Shakur. Like it was just I, I didn't think it was gonna happen, you know. And I guess they're really serious there in Saudi, bro. When they say it, they mean it, you know. When they say they're trying to push Shakur in the undercard. Um, of a better be and it, it, bro, they did. <laughs> yeah, you know they they put Shakur as a co-main of the better be of Bivol fight. I think, you know, I think it's a good thing. You know, I know Shakur is trying to get that Cepeda fight, and he didn't. Uh, so obviously they looked at all it was Tank first, and then Cepeda, and then now they looked at Joe Cordina. To be honest with you, man, when that fight was announced, I'm, I wasn't a really big fan of that fight itself. I like Shakur being the undercard, the better be of Bivol, but um, just the fight itself, you know, Cardina is a good, is a great fighter. He's a good fighter. However, he is coming up two weight classes. Um, and he's coming off a loss, a knockout loss. Um I think in a lower weight class, Joel Cordina is an okay puncher. Uh, 126, he he has like, what, 50% knockout ratio. And he's going up in weight, two weight classes to fight arguably the guy at the weight division. Um, I think this fight is more of a showcase fight rather than a test or a stay busy slash showcase fight for Shakur because this is his first fight in Riyadh season. Obviously, it's a co-main. Um co-main event of the better be of Bivol. And I think it's just to set up the fans um, to, you know, for what they're going to see in the main event. So I expect Shakur to, I mean, I'm already making a prediction, but we'll obviously break this in another video, but I expect Shakur to get him out of there, perform spectacular, and hopefully get the Cepeda, or if not the tank fight after. But it's uh, I think it's a good move for him to, to be in this card. Yeah, I agree. But I don't know if he's gonna put him out. <laughs> In my opinion, man. <laughs> he should. It, man. He should. On paper, yeah, he should. Right. But judging by his last two fights, bro, I got KO'd. For the <laughs> he first put us out, huh? Yeah, he, us he put out. us out. He put both of us out, man. He 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 he's on a streak right now with putting people out to sleep, you know. <laughs> but um I'm still gonna watch regardless, cause who knows, he might be Turning it up this time around. Yeah. Or he might just be sticking sure. to what he knows best and just, I'll pop you here, I'll walk around. I'll pop you there. <laughs> hey, I'm winning the fight. I don't got to fight no more. I'll jab you every now and then, you know? But yeah. we'll see, man. But um, hard. Yeah, I mean, hard as this. It's hard to hear it, but hey, that's the, that's the Floyd Mayweather blueprint. You know, he doesn't have yeah. to... He, I don't need to change myself if I'm winning. And that's Shakur, man. He's winning. Um, so he doesn't need to change himself. But like I said, he, he got matched with a guy that's moving up two weight classes that lost his last fight by KO. I just, uh, even if he box, I expect him to hurt the guy. But we'll, we'll see. What do you think of yeah. him actually signing with Eddie Hearn, though? Bro, <laughs> I, think it's a, I, I think that's a great power move, bro. Because number one, it's gonna put him in the bigger stages, in my opinion. Yep. Yeah. Right. And I think it's really gonna set him up for 
the Zip, the Cepeda fight for sure. Yep, I agree. I think uh, was the best decision because mm-hmm. Shakur Stevens, obviously, we know he's he's a, he's a good, great fighter, great boxing IQ. However, the exposure that he had from top rank isn't that much. Same idea with Terence Crawford when he was moving up. You know, they are getting older. I think being exposed in this uh, the world stage because now they're gonna fight in Saudi. You know, I mean? like he's. He's venturing into a different country, a different place, so different exposure. I think that itself, because Eddie Hearn is a global boxing promoter, um, I think that opens a lot of doors for him. You know, there's there's that get this fight with Cordina, and then if he gets a Cepeda fight, it's probably going to be somewhere in the states. If not, you know, who, who knows? It could be anywhere. But to be in a global global platform, I think it's big for the name. Now, though, he has to be able to perform at a way where people will want to watch him because we know, but not all of them, though. I think it's just his past recent fights. It's just it's been it's been a little too a little too dry for for a lot of boxing fans, you know. But I think this is the right move for him to sign with Eddie Hearn because Eddie Hearn will put him with anyone. He just has to perform to a level where people would want to see him more. So it's going to be up to him, and we'll see you October 12th. Exactly, especially on that big ass card with Bevo Better BF. Yeah, that's a that's a that's, that's a, a crazy card too. To actually, be on. it's yeah, another crazy insane. card that we had to talk about. Uh, Chris Eubank is a lot, so it's, it's a lot. So, and he's the co-main. You got to remember that, man. He's he he better warm up all the fans before. Or the fight I'm gonna be super nervous for. But we're gonna I'm gonna break that down, man. A different video when he gets closer. Yeah, exactly. When it gets closer, man. And the last thing, man. This is uh... <laughs> it's rumors. It's not. It's not. It's not sure yet. Rumored, but imagine if it happens in either location. It's basically Bakoli versus Zhang, either in China or Africa. Yeah. I'll start with this, you know, when I, I just I just started with this, um, like, you know, when we talked about Shakur, when Turkey said he's going to try to put Shakur in, a, in an undercard of the better be of Bivol, and he did. You know, now he's saying he's going to do a Bacoli versus Zhang fight, either China or Africa, man. See, that to me, I, I, I think it's going to happen, you know. Obviously, those two guys, they want to they wanna have, they want they want a title shot, but mm-hmm. obviously right now, Josh was busy. Dubois is busy. They, we got a rematch of Usyk and Fury, so we, we, they can't get a title shot. So one way to stay busy is to fight each other, and I think this fa- this will be a fad friendly fight for about three or four rounds. You know what I mean? Whoever dies first dies first. But I think Zhang, as we know, is a global star in China. Bakoli, on the other hand, when he got his welcome in Congo, he looked like Manny Pacquiao out there every time. Yeah. He- with a win, right? He has a like a actual parade, you know. So he has a he has actually vi- an actual victory parade, man. So I think he's gonna be great, you know. And and like to add to this, boxing is now a global stage. You know, you don't you don't just go to MGM to T-Mobile, not just a Vegas thing. But now we might get a big fight in China. Will would will probably for sure, or in, or in Africa. And they'll do the same, man. So I, I think it's good for the good for the sport. The big time, man. Now that it's globally known, huge, huge step, huge step for boxing, right? Yep. Next, next thing you know, we're gonna be having pro boxing matches in Russia. Hey, hey, if we can make it though, <laughs> <laughs> maybe we'll keep it at Saudi. Yeah, but yeah, it's there's no limitations man this is what i this is I, I again this is why you can argue that this is probably one of the best years for boxing because the biggest fights that happened man in my opinion it's not it didn't happen in the united states yeah true you know it's we got fury nusik we're about to do we, they're about to do it twice a better be of and bivol fight you know they got to do it in riyadh um obviously terence crawford was in la but he wasn't you know that that card is big. Um, then uh, we're gonna have Zhang or either Bacoli. I mean Zhang or Bacoli, either Africa or China, man. So I think it's a it's it's definitely a right step for the sport. We'll see fights, not just a lot of bigger fights. 
not just in the United States, but all over the world, man. One thing though, I, obviously, I'm being biased because we live in Canada, man. We gotta, we we gotta get another one here. Obviously, better be have you know been fighting here, but we gotta see a. I want to see a Riyadh card in Canada, and that that'll be that'll be huge. Big man, big in time though. In time, it'll yep. happen. We're slow. Yep. We're slowly getting there. Slowly, baby steps. You know. Yep. But it'll, it, it'll happen soon, man. So let us know what you guys think about the Shakur versus Cordina fight. Do you think it's going to be a slug fest or do you think it's going to be a snooze fest? Mm. I, 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 I'm I 50-50, right? What do you think of Shakur <laughs> signing with Eddie Hearn? Was that, a, was that the right move? Because we think so. Holy Zang. Should that happen in China or should that happen in Africa? Or should there... Should there be two fights? If there should be, should there be a rematch? If it's crazy, but who knows, man? Let us know what you let us know what you think in the comment section below. And until next time, guys, we are the opposite of in out.